Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and I'm going to show you guys, number one, how to pair your brand new gear fit uh, with your brand new Galaxy S5 or any other Galaxy device that is, um, and also how to use your gear fit. So the first thing you're going to want to do is turn on both of the devices, and one of the areas you'll be able to find the gear fit manager is underneath Galaxy Essentials. And inside of there you'll notice the Samsung gear fit manager. The other location you can download it is underneath apps, then head over to where it says Samsung apps, and then hit on the search icon for gear fit manager. So I have already downloaded my gear fit manager. I have also already connected my Bluetooth. So what I'm going to do is just head into gear fit manager. So what it's going to do over here on your gear fit is letting you know where you'd be able to download this application. And just so you guys know, yes, it is paired through Bluetooth, but this gear fit manager is what manages the fit. You have to have this application for this to work. Um, and actually one of the things I'm going to do on here is just push off my little band and just so you guys know that's how easy it is you, and this is where you'd be able to interchange and change the color so I have the gear fit still in my hand and I notice that this one number is 6180 here is 6180 touch on the screen and so now it's going to be connecting to the gear fit once it notices um, the confirmed passkey and it notices which one is correct just hit OK hit on the little check mark and then now this is all going to be real time for you guys and so this is where you'd be able to say I understand hit on finish and then now it's all gonna be connected so there is a new um, upgrade for mine for the new version of the gear fit manager but I'm just gonna keep going along with this here so if you notice that it's a little bit of a change this is why and so now over here this is where I'm gonna actually switch it to my right wrist I'm gonna hit OK and then this is where you'd be able to go into there and then make it look however you want to so I hope this helped you guys out and enjoy the rest of the video I'm gonna show you guys how it kinda operates a little bit and then I'll show you some things with the phone so first off, with the gear fit, it's just going to be a swipe of left and right. So this is going to be your home page right here, or the home uh, screen. And this is where the date and the time and things are. And which one of the things you'd be able to do is underneath the home screen, this is where you'd be able to update these. You can make it to where it's just a normal digital clock. You can do it with the pedometer. And then you're going to have a whole bunch of other options you'd be able to do. And I'm sure that as this uh, gear fit it has been out and released for longer than a day, along with this application, you're going to see some updates to this as well. When you go underneath wallpapers, this is where you guys can choose what other wallpaper you know you want to have. If you don't want to have it, you know, purple or whichever color it comes with. Uh, here is all of the solid colors you'd be able to choose as well. But just one thing to keep in mind is that when you do play and have your gear fit, just remember that whatever picture and color you have, the brighter the color, the more battery it will actually take. And you notice that there's actually a real uh, image there. This is where you just go to more images on the top right there and you'd be able to choose what uh, picture you would like to have from your gallery. So let's go left and right here. So on the home page if you have it to where it says the pedometer you can actually click there and it's going to show how far you've gone and then this is also where you can check out the history you can set a goal so for example how many steps you're going to do and you can also reset it as well. Now when you swipe over you're going to see notifications it's going to show any notifications that you'll have from you know Facebook and messages and and missed calls, things like that, you're actually able to choose that through the notifications right here. So you have limit notifications to where when the screen is on, uh, it will actually not be sent to your fit, uh, obviously because you're probably looking at the notification already. Smart Relay, this is where once you get a notification and if you look at your phone, it'll actually go straight to what that notification was. And then you'll notice incoming call, alarm, schedule, missed calls, messages. It just keeps going on and on. Then on the very bottom here, this is all the applications that you have on your device. So any application that sends you notifications in general, you'll actually be able to get those notifications onto your gear fit. Media controller, that's to control the music that is on your device. Underneath settings, this is where you'd be able to change the clock, change the wallpaper, go into the display. You could change the brightness, change the screen timeout, which wrist is it on, you know, things like that. Double press, it just depends on what you want to you know, turn on when you double press the button on the very top. So right now I have mine set to the heart rate. And then profile if you're male, female, how tall you are, your birth date, things like that. So then this way when you're actually doing some of your exercises, it will actually pertain to you know, your body style. And then your timer, stopwatch, find my device. So if you don't know exactly where your device is at, just hit on search. And then you'd be able to find it. And again, this is all Bluetooth, so anything within 30 feet. More applications if you have added more applications to the to the gear fit, as well as here's the pedometer, heart rate, and exercise. Underneath exercise, if you guys are walking or running, just keep in mind that this you don't need to have your phone with you. All you have to do is just use the pedometer and heart rate that is actually on the gear fit itself. 
So you just, you know, um, check out again your history. Here is the setting the goal. If you want no goal, distance, if you're going to set it for time or calories. And then you can also test your heart rate right then. And just so you guys know, the heart rate is the very bottom right there uh, in the very center. And so if you guys wear it on the top of the wrist, you can wear it on the bottom of the wrist, as well as use your finger to actually test your heart rate. So you can actually use it all three ways, but most people will just have it on the top of the wrist as is, and that is where you'd be able to test it. When you guys are actually using the cycling and also hiking, you do want to have your device with you because you're actually going to be using the GPS to check out your altitudes as well as how fast you're going. Just because cycling, you're not going to be going, you know, your eight miles per hour or anything like that. That is where you'd be able to test out your miles per hour and things. And I would say a couple uh, little tips and tricks you guys will be able to use on this is that when you hit on the power key, it's going to take you back to the home page or it'll actually turn it off and also it'll turn it on. Now, if you double press on the power button, it's going to take you into that application that you have set or the feature. And then the very last one is triple pressing the top button, which I'm not going to do. But when you triple press, when you go into the settings in the Gear Fit Manager, make sure you go underneath where it says send help messages. So what it's going to do when you press it three times, it's actually going to be sending an SOS or an emergency or a help text message to any of your primary contacts. So what will happen is you will go underneath manage primary contacts and you add in anywhere between one, two, three, or four people. And once you hit that three times, they will get the text message that says emergency or SOS. And then it's going to give you give them a notification of where you are along with a second text message showing the exact GPS signal um, in terms of Google Maps. Now, one little tip that I have on this is if you have the primary contact set up and if you have your help messages turned on, I would say right away, go to quick messages and underneath here, add one in there. It's called in an accident because if you get in an accident, this phone may be pushed away to a different part of the car and you're not able to reach the, the phone to reach out for help. Maybe nobody's around you. Nobody saw the accident. Anyways, if you get in an accident, my little tip, put in in an accident. This way, when they when you triple press on your button and it sends a text message to your four uh, persons, if they text you back, this is where you'd be able to click on message, go to quick reply, and send this back. So a little tidbit for you guys. Um, that is something that I have as well. In terms of auto lock, this is something that if you're wearing your gear fit, which you should majority of the time, what will happen is if you walk more than five feet away from your device that you have it set up with, it'll actually lock your phone. And then when you're within your five feet, it'll be easy to where you just swipe up. This is where you're able to set the double pressing of the power key. This is the wake up gesture. So then when you lift up your wrist and you look at it, it'll actually turn on the display for you. And then also what is shown? Is it the last viewed screen or are you going to be looking at the clock? And so we've actually talked about everything in terms of the home screen change, you know, in terms of changing colors and things like that. The settings, we talked about notifications with S health here. This is where it actually gets into the S health application of the device. You know, you can add in the food that you're eating for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And then you've got your little pedometer for the steps and how many calories you were, you were burning. Um, but let's go back to this little settings icon. This is where you'd be able to change it if you want uh, the pedometer to uh, transfer the interval in 3, 6, 12, 24, and then also the three days. Um, and then you've also got transfer now if you want everything to transfer. So two little tips that I have here, other than the quick messages, is going to be in terms of notifications. When you get a notification and you're looking through them, if you would like to have the text go a little bit smaller, just double tap on the screen. This way you'd be able to check everything out uh, a little bit quicker. If you want them to be bigger, then you can make them bigger just by double tapping. Now let's say that we go back just to the normal home page here, uh, and you wanted to look at some of the settings. If you do, do a two-finger double tap, It'll get into where, number one, you can see that you are connected to Bluetooth. You can change your brightness and see where your battery is at. Thank you.